Thanks. Turning now to a developing story. An officer involved shooting rattles a Sand Springs neighborhood. Officers saying they had reason to fear for their lives. Two Works for You reporter Nathan Edwards out in the area talking to police and neighbors. He brings us the latest. Stephen, a man in the house behind me threatened police officers with a gun. Officers tried to reason with him, but he wouldn't listen. Early this morning, Ray Gagney noticed something odd at the end of his street. Police cars surrounding his neighbor's home on Trinidad Lane. What I did see was um, two officers crouched down on each side of the garage. What he saw next would shock him. His neighbor armed, charging police. When the argument got heated, he came up with his hand. About that time, it was a quick succession of about four rounds of ammo. Police forced to kill the man in his front yard. We wish there was another way that we could have resolved this. Police were called out here because the man was shooting off his weapon in his yard. He was in his backyard. He would not comply with the officers. Officers tried to reason with him. What I appreciate our officers twice, they showed the compassion to try to defuse it by backing off, and he just wouldn't allow it. But their efforts fell on deaf ears. He said, my gun is loaded and I will kill you. Police had no other option but to defend themselves. Neighbors say the man was a Vietnam veteran who seemed to be dealing with mental health issues. You could tell that uh, you could tell there was something going on with him, you know. But I think it was just from the war, you know, just a soldier. Ray, also a veteran, just hopes vets can get better help to prevent incidents like this from happening again. A lot of them do have some issues. Just try to understand them. The officer involved in the shooting is on paid administrative leave, and the Sand Springs Police Department has asked OSBI to help with their investigation. Reporting in Sand Springs tonight, Nathan Edwards, 2 News, works for you.